Brian, get down here. Hi, we're playing uh, Too Many Cinderella's. We're doing a review, that's how you got here probably, but uh, watch us play Too Many Cinderella's. I'll speed it up, so it's gonna sound like we're talking really fast. And, and on here. All right, so in the course of the game, we, got, <laughs> we have this deck, right? And these cards have stuff on them that say what characteristics this particular character has, and it also has a rumor on the bottom, and that rumor is uh, what characteristics the prince isn't looking for. So hopefully you'll be able to figure this out as Rumors we play. Rumors are here, the characteristics are over here, and that's the actual potential candidate. I'm not worried, you can't see, you're, you're blind. I'm blind as a bat. And then so. we get these tokens, We can I can kibosh one of his rumors or what have you. All right, so. We, we only get uh, two. one, right? Two, we get two. We get two? One's yes, one's no. Oh, okay. oh I have three yes, here. The white one is the. No. No. That's All determined, right. okay. All right, so let's, let's hit this thing. So what happens in the two player game first? Okay. So in the two-player game, the first thing that happens is a rumor card is randomly drawn from here and is placed here. And so, um, so the rumor becomes Cinderella does not have brown hair. So that is now that rumor. So now we look at our cards, which are all the potential candidates for Cinderella's, and we look to see which one of them have brown hair. And if all of them do, then we'd be screwed. So then we would have to like vote no. I don't want to do that. But we look at all of our candidates and look at their colors of hair. And then we decide whether we want to vote. No, you can only vote, you can only, I, you can only vote no once. And you only have two tokens, one's yes and one's no. <coughs> Ready? And it's like a mic drop, but it's only a token. Did I do that right? Okay. So this Super rumor is now true. Have, well, it's it's believed. It's believed. That's correct. So Cinderella, right? And then we take our yes token back, so we still have the option to still do that. And now I have smaller feet. The player with the smallest shoe size, I believe, goes yes. first. I have smaller feet, so I will go first. I guess if you were dressed up as a clown, you could technically have the smallest feet, but the largest shoes. If you, you know, that might be a good uh, metagame strategy for uh, too many Cinderella's. It's true. It doesn't say anything about your Oh, feet. we've already broken the, the first player game, first player rule. Yeah. So I just played a card that says Cinderella does, does not have blonde hair. Then we take our tokens and we go to vote. So now Cinderella does not have blonde hair or brown hair. What color hair will she have? Does she have any hair whatsoever? Brent Fiore, it's your time to play card. No, now we play again randomly from the top of the random rumor right, deck. All right, all right. And it is? It's a cat. Card ranking is reversed. So. <coughs> Nike. That's so normally, not good for, that's not good for me. And what that means is each of the characters has a number on the top of the card, and uh, the uh, potential candidates, if there were more than one qualifying Cinderella at the end of the game from the prince to choose from, um, whoever uh, has, like, I think it's the uh, the lowest number is usually the best, kind of like golf. Um, the lower score, the better, the higher the rank. But in this case, this card reverses that rule, so whatever the whoever has the highest number. Um, so which, is, which is a strategy killer. Halfway through the game, kind of. Which is one of the things I usually don't like. You might hear me say that. Go ahead, Papa. Oh, we got to vote on this first. Oh, all right. Let's see if he burns his no token. I didn't even think about that. Ready? Actually, I didn't think about that. And reveal. Ah, oh, look at that. All right. Both yeses again. <coughs> and we'll spread these out here. Because anytime you're picking a potential mate, that's a good thing well, to those, do. Well, these are just rumors. Yeah, true. They aren't the mates. The mates are still in our hands. Gotcha. So it's your turn. Got oh, so now it's my turn to play a card. <laughs> so 
So Cinderella does, does not, not like, like coffee. coffee. You ready to vote? I am. And go. All right. We're not now. We're not really full of objections. Nope. Now we flip. Flip the script. Now again. we flip over another random card. What? What is that? Rice. Oh, Cinderella does not like. It is rice. Bowls of popcorn. Does not like rice. She hates popcorn. <laughs> uh, all right. So we vote on this. Okay. Look at that. We are just so agreeable. We're very pliable. Yikes! All right. Massage. So. Pliable. That's me, right? Yes. Uh, no, it's my turn now. Wait, no, you have three. And you went first, right? Yeah, so yeah, you played another card. Negative one, no token. I'm not sure what that means. Let's look it up. Let's look up that special rule here for a negative, or it looks like a color. I think we all lose one no token. Is that what it is? I think that's what mine, it is. Mine, oh yeah, because I guess it could be up to four. Yeah, four players, and each player is a so different all lost color. No tokens. All right. So now all we can say is yes. <laughs> can we vote on that? <laughs> not anymore. Well, I think we could, uh -huh. but we know what the answer would be. No, 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 not before. Can we vote on it? Oh yeah, because it doesn't take effect until after the vote. So yes, we could. All right. But what's the point? Because you're either going to burn your no token, or but then, so you might as well have that. Ready? Yep. And? In a two-player game that actually no matter what, it's, there was no reason to bring it into <laughs> yeah. it took our yeses. No, now we, don't, now we don't get any more votes anyway. <laughs> because I get all yeah. and so, The game will go much faster now. And now instead of having uh, your yes and no tokens, maybe they trade in for safe words. So. <laughs> uh, holy crap. Uh, so now, uh, wait, 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 wait. Who, did you play that? Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, then it goes random. Cinderella is not young. Oh, oh no. Alright. Okay. And then you so, your are, card and then it's over. Alright. Um. And Cinderella is not a senior. No, senior. She's not Spanish. Is not a senior. So she's not young and she's not old. <laughs> and, uh. But in fact, so now what we do is we reveal our potential candidates for Cinderella, right? right? Yeah. And and you choose one, and and whichever one of us has, the, the, so the score is the hot. So it's now reversed, right? So whoever has the highest number of a do possible you candidate. Have a card that fits this. I believe I do. Then you won because I do not. Oh really? So I have a team, which is a questionable. Apparently, Cinderella is a team going to marry the prince. Um, it's got black hair, which I didn't know they had. So, yep, the black hair. Uh, oh, no, she's not. No, no, no. No, 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 I, no, I no it was somewhere. brown. It was brown. Cinderella's not brown hair. <laughs> Here she has black. Oh, all right. Um, ice cream. So she doesn't like rice or coffee. Um, she's not young or old. Or, or old. So. Oh, no, am I in this? You're in it again. So, it looks like. It's Alex. It looks like I persuaded the prince to marry. To marry that chick. Yeah. I lost. I lost. All right, now watch the review. Or actually, yeah. you've already seen the review if you're watching this. <laughs> I didn't know there was black hair. Don't you have black hair?